This is exactly why we train lifeguards. We've trained 4,444 people in life-saving skills. The reason we do these training is to prevent an incident becoming a fatal accident. Angel from the Mirage Hotel in Fujairah was exactly where she needed to be. An incident took place where a two-year-old boy almost drowned. She was sharp with her actions and she performed her emergency action plan in the correct way and she prevented it from becoming a fatal incident. It was a nearly fatal incident. Uh, one of our uh, guest was uh, almost drowning, but uh, thanks for the continuous training to our lifeguards, the child's life was saved. The result of that incident has made me very proud of the, the fast reaction of our team, and it is really uh, important to keep investing in training, to keep the level, to keep the awareness, and of course the fitness. I mean, it's related to movement, the sharp reactions, the CPR knowledge. We will continue strong training for, uh, for entire department, especially to the lifeguard team. That kid, they drown the water, drink too much water and drown on the ground. I just uh, prepare the kid, I give five initial bleeds after I start the CPR. I did perfectly because my training was fresh, still fresh. I'm very happy because I saved that person, I saved their life. I'm really very, very happy and proud of myself for that. My message to you is to join our vision, which is to make everyone a lifesaver and build safer communities. Drownings take place under supervision in the beaches and at pools. So we have a responsibility to make sure they are safe. The Mirage Hotel in Fujairah had invested time in the continual training of their lifeguards and they prevented a fatal accident from happening. I urge you, if you're in and around water, or if you're responsible for managing areas of water, to invest time in the correct training and continual training. Stay safe.